G'day everyone, Blake here with another video and today I want to talk about a fantastic foreground plant and one of the only foreground plants which is available in red. So let's jump straight into the video. So the plant I want to talk about today is AR Mini, also known as Alternathera Renecki Mini. Now this is a really great uh, bushy plant that uh, yeah grows red. So um, it's a fantastic option for that point of difference in your aquascape. However, do keep in mind that there are quite a few demands that it does require, so it's not for the faint-hearted. Now Alternathera Renecki originates from South America, where it grows in wetlands, on the banks of rivers, and areas prone to flooding. So it is uh, capable of growing both above water and below, or emus and submerged. Now with that said, the plant that we're talking about today, Alternothera Renecki Mini, does not exist naturally in the wild. It's a cultivar that was created around about the year 2007 to be a dwarf version of this plant. Alternothera Renecki Mini grows from around about five centimeters in height to 30 centimeters in height, or two inches to one foot. Now, of course, there's a huge variance in that, and that will depend mostly on how regularly you trim it. Regular trimming will really help this stem plant to grow new, sh new healthy roots and new healthy shoots and overall strengthen the plant and help to train it in the manner you like. So if you let it go loose, it'll probably uh, get pretty spindly, have some sprawling elements and not too many leaves and it just won't look as good, dense and bushy as if you are regularly trimming it. So do keep that in mind. Now, if you're not aware about red plants and how they work, the red coloration is actually a defense mechanism because if it was green, it would take in too much light and photosynthesize too much. So what it does is it changes uh, contrast to the green so it becomes red and the deeper the red is basically the more light you're trying to get into that plant, the less it needs to turn on those greens and photosynthesize that way. So with that in mind, to get those really vibrant reds, crimsons, and pinks, you're gonna to need to have to provide really, really high light. Something, it's always a bit of a tricky one because depths of water and so forth can vary, but aim for around about the half of a watt per liter or two watts per gallon. AR Mini will really be aided through some nice liquid fertilizer supplementation, provide it with a good all-in-one fertilizer, and you can get better results with your red coloration through adding iron as well. I've always found best success found with a really nice high powerful light, the addition of fertilizer and CO2. CO2 will help the plant to grow a lot faster and more compact and dense, so I'd recommend giving it CO2 if you can. In terms of water chemistry, it will grow from anything between 4 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius or you know 40 degrees Fahrenheit up to 85 degrees Fahrenheit or something around those lines and a pH between 6.0 to 7. The thing with AR Mini is it has a pretty delicate stem and delicate roots as well so the less compact your aqua soil is going to be the better. If you can get some brand new fluval stratum or master soil, something that's going to be some nice round clay balls uh, which aren't going to you know really densely compact like some sands do that's going to really help this plant to grow and spread overall ar mini is a really unique plant that can really accentuate the foreground of any aquascape out there it's kind of a must these days especially if you're having greens and reds within the same aquarium um, it's really versatile and it grows well both above water and below and uh, I haven't found it to be too difficult to grow and provided you give it the proper conditions I found it to be a really rewarding one and one that is um, yeah, definitely a must in any fish room so hopefully you like this video hopefully it helps uh, if it did it always helps me out to smash like hit subscribe and all that fun stuff and I'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching